O Panama, O Panama, God destined beauty land is standing strong. Bid with the blood, sweat, and tears and lies. These great West Indians long live their life. O Panama, O Panama, big stone salute you. Yes, from my brother, a Rastafarian brother by the name of Ras Rick, who's going to give us a little bit more insight as to who brother Sidney Young was. Brother Rick. Yes, Sidney Young is a Jamaican born publisher mm -hmm. of the Panama Tribune, a newspaper that catered to the interests of those who came and built the Panama Canal and the maintenance of the Panama Canal. It was the only newspaper of West Indian origin that uh, highlighted interests, news, and obituaries, all other uh, elements have to do with the community. Mm -hmm. So this park was the segregated to honor him in 1961. Uh, it became the only image and park that honored a black man in the Republic of Panama. Jamaican born Sidney Adolphus Young. Wow. Bless his soul. Brother Rick, um, I'm so honored to be in your company because these fantastic history must be taught not just to Panamanians but to Jamaicans as well. Knowing that us as a race of people from Jamaica have gone into other countries and have done great work. So we as Jamaican must also remember and learn about great people like Mr. Sidney Adolphus Young. Uh, what does he mean to you as a Panamanian, Brother Rick? I, as a combination of uh, ancestral roots in Jamaica and Barbados, I'm very proud because my Jamaican side uh, calls for the recognition of the contribution of our people. We are invisibilized uh, in terms of the input and the things we have done in, from history, from way back in history until this time. So Sidney Adolphus Young is my pride and joy and honored to have this brother being the only black uh, African descendant image in Panama. And especially that you are here and Constantine Bogo in this decennial international decade against racism and the recognition of the black man, of people of African descent. I feel very proud and privileged indeed to have you guys accompany me on this track. Blessed God. Thank you very much, Brother Rick. And may the soul and spirit of Sidney Adolphus Young last for an eternity. Me da lágrimas en el corazón para saber a veces que con todo lo que ha hecho, hecho, hecho nuestro ancestro aquí en Panamá, si no fuera por la, por el, la sangre, el sudor y el esfuerzo de mis ancestros, los de Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, que vinieron a construir esto, Panamá hubiera sido simplemente una cota en la mapa. Which means in English now. Translate. If it were not for the presence of our forefathers who made this possible, who made the railroad which is standing behind, behind the cameraman and the Pedro Miguel Ox which is standing behind me, which is part of the Panama Canal. If it were not for their effort, if it were not for the blood, sweat and tears, Panama would simply be just a spot on the map. El Honorable Marcos Garvey. Yeah. Dijo, un dios, un destino y un designio para la raza humana. Viva Marcos Gavi. Viva Marcos, Marcos Gavi. Gavi. Yes, I Viva Marcos Gavi. The Cork School building. That's what it's known as, shaped like a, a screw. 
Look at it. Isn't this exciting, Jamaica? Wow. This is fantastic. What is the um the history behind this building? Why was it made like that? Or was it just to show the Okay. One that's in Dubai, okay. Okay. Yeah, there was two just to copy it? Yes. Wow. ladies and gentlemen downtown Panama kind of remind me of the United States of America uh, most of the building that we see actually were copied by the Americas look, look at this President of Panama lives in this building. This is fantastic. Take a look. Wow. Wow. What is that over there? Cantaloria General. Okay. What kind of building is that? Okay, the control is there. Wow. Look at this. Ten years ago. We used to be able to see the, the, the bay from here. Okay. Yeah. So what is it now? Is it a park and yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Panama is very, I would really love to come back here to be honest with you. This is part of your home. This is my home now. Many of us died in this place. A lot of Jamaicans died building yes. the city, the Panama Canal, and, and parts of the city as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I'm now directly behind the Diablo Roja. Uh, this was the main passenger vehicle. Uh, it's been outdated, but they're still in use, some of them. Former school bus. And as you can see, some of them are personalized. Right, but, this, but this is a beautiful shot of this bus. 
We don't see buses like this in Jamaica at all. We don't see any place else in the world. Look at this. Yeah. This is beautiful. Look at this. There's music in the bus as well. Wow. Isn't this beautiful? The Diablo Rojas, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to In The Streets with Big Stone. I'm in Panama and I'm here with my tour guide and translator and my friend, Ras Rick. He's gonna tell me a lot more and you a lot more about the history behind this great, great modern technology of art that was created by some of our ancestors in Jamaica. Rick, welcome man. Bless you. Come a little closer so we can hear what's going on. Rick, what year was this great invention created? This was inaugurated in 1914. In 1914? And it had a toll. Many of our uh, descent, uh, ancestors died as a result of making this a reality. There is a section known as Culebra Cut. Yes. It was a very difficult working task and they had dynamites okay. that they used to remove much of the, the, uh, the mountains that a were rock there. Mountain. The and, rock mountain. The rock And at one point, there were, uh, there were accidents, several accidents, and many of our people died because some were even deaf from medication like quinine. From the blasting and so yes. on. And they did not hear sometimes when the blasting took place and many were, were killed. Okay. It is a story behind many who were transported with uh, the rocks, the debris, and you could see limbs, you know, with amidst the rocks and debris of our people and taken to a place known as the Causeway, okay. which is a connective area to the, to, the, to, the, uh, to three islands. So this uh, marvel is a result of the great builders of pyramids, the great builders of pyramids, the descendants of those great builders of pyramids came to Panama <laughs> and did what they did. And we are the descendants of those who came. So we should be proud of their accomplishment. Uh, in 1804, when they actually started this great wonders, what we would classify as one of the seven wonders of the world in 1804. How long did it take for it to get into working condition where the ships can actually pass through? I would say 1904. Uh, prior to 1904, which the Americans took over yes. from the bankrupt company, the French company that began in the 18th, 1887. So the French actually started the canal first and they went bankrupt. And they went bankrupt. Yes. And the United States continued from about 1904. Mm -hmm. And that, at that point, they recruited was rerouted to people from the Caribbean. OK, Jamaicans, yes. Barbadians, Trinidadians. Barbadians were mostly on contract. OK. And many of us from Jamaica came on our home looking for work, food, OK, that. looking for jobs. OK. And it took the 10 years span that we are basically only diggers. But whenever there was some breakdown in the machinery, it was us. We to fix repair. it. Exactly. Okay, so okay. We, you know, we had these skills from way back. So it is something of marvel that should be attributed to the presence of the 20 something thousand laborers, the great people that came. Could you repeat that again? 20 something thousand West yes. Indian came here. Yes. And contributing to this marvel that Brother Claudio called the eighth wonder of the world. Of the world. <laughs> Jamaica, you should be proud to know that some of your family members who actually built this great marvel, right, actually did not come back to Jamaica.
America. They fell in love with this great country and they took up a, 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 a residence in Cologne and, and, and so many other areas that we can find Jamaican descendants. Well, Jamaican descendants were even here before the canal. They came for the first was the railroad. Oh, it was a railroad first. Before the canal. From 1850 to 1855, they contributed to being the first transatlantic railroad. Wow. Which was thin. Uh -huh. And prior to the railroad construction, West Indians were here from Jamaica. They uh -huh. were here in the first of Bokasla Toro. We were always here. Yes. And prior to the West Indians, the Olmecs, yeah. we were here. When they discovered the small uh, Pacific Ocean, yes. they saw shipwrecked Africans. Yes. And and Pasco Nuesa Bokola had a chronicler of that reality. His the railroad, name, the railroad right behind you. So the railroad, yes, there's a railroad right behind you. Yeah. That's the railroad. So this is what Jamaicans are doing. All of us here came first to there. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And even prior to that, we were here. We were always here. We were always here. Always in the same spirit. As a matter of fact, the oldest archaeological find in this hemisphere was in Brazil. Okay. And it's of a woman. Four, 12,000 years old. Wow. So even the indigenous people were not here. Africans were here. We were everywhere. So be proud, African. Be proud. Be proud. Love you. Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> Brother, uh, come over here, Constantine, and be a part of this great, this great study. Be a part of this great, this great study. This great study, and because we have such an eloquent brother by the name of Ross R Rick, right? And Ross Rick was what was the brother that took us from the airport and, and gave us this wonderful, beautiful tour of this beautiful country. And Mr. Jordan as well. And of course, who can I forget? Carlos Jordan. As a matter of fact, Carlos Jordan is the cameraman today. So we as Jamaicans have to big up Carlos Jordan. Big up. <laughs> big up yourself. And of course, Rock. And thank you, my brother, for, for taking me to this beautiful part of the world. Something that I admire as a child growing up. So this is my dream come true to actually bless the Panama Canal. What more can you ask for? Love. Is there any great stories that goes behind this? Any myth? You know what I mean? Sometimes they, you, know, you might hear little stories that goes with the canal. Tell us any, if there's any. Any folklore, anything? Well, our yeah. people were always a great deal. Right, always. always. And there's a, a parallel, a latitude that goes from Ethiopia. Oh. That goes straight to Panama. The same latitude. Okay. That goes across. And if you look at it, the, 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 the field of the map, uh -huh. you'll see the correspondence. That's why it is significant to acknowledge what we are, what we have been, and what we will be. <laughs> I like that. What we are, what we have been, and what we will be. What a positive uh, note to really uh, 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 express to the world. You know what I mean? Um, I'm so happy, I'm so elated, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, it is my right, dream. Right. Que pasa, amigo? It is my dream come true to be here. Uh, Russ, I know you've been to Jamaica a lot of times, right? Have you ever seen anything like this close to Jamaica? Do we have anything close that can even be referred to this? I'm on the We have something greater. Yes. Which is the people. The people. Right. There's, there, there's nothing greater than the dynamic of those who are in, in Jamaica. A Jamaica is like this. Jamaica. Yes. So we look forward always to inviting our brothers and our sisters, our brethren and our sisters to connect. We just completed the 100th anniversary of the opening of the Panama Canal. 100 years! And the same year of the inauguration of the Panama Canal, 1914, Marcus Garvey and Paul yes. inaugurated the UNIA. UNIA. 100 years simultaneously and I want Jamaica to know that this land 
Honorable Marcus Garvey tread this land. The Honorable Marcus Garvey tread Costa Rica. The Honorable Marcus Garvey tread all through these areas, bringing the importance of how powerful we are as a race of people. So Jamaica, stop killing yourself. You have a great lineage. You have a great future. And I'm very happy to be able to bring back to you and to the rest of the world this eight wonders of the world. You want to say anything important, Brother Ross? In closing, and my brother has reminded me of Marcus Garvey, his mother, Sarah Jane Richards. Sarah Jane Richards had relatives in Panama. Wow. When she sent her son to those relatives, could have been a brother. So he came to Panama and visited his uncle. So Panama is very significant as a point where we converge and we are going to do greater things as time goes by. And to have the great, honorable Constantine. Look at him! Global! <laughs> Look at him! In observing at the preamble of the 150th anniversary of, of the world very, very we are so proud. Give thanks to the Almighty Mighty. for this time. Praise the Almighty. History. It is a great history. And this is what I want to say though, because we know. Come a little closer now, because I want us to be close up with the faces. Come a little closer. I want you to speak to Spanish, because a lot of people might say, Big Stone, you're not in Panama. I don't hear the brother speak one word in Spanish, and I'm a Spanish-speaking person. So say something to the world in Spanish in regards to us being here. El Honorable Marcos Garvey yeah. dijo, un dios, un destino, y un designio para la raza humana. Viva Marcos Garvey. Viva Marcos, Marcos Garvey. Garvey. Yes, I Viva. am. Marcus Garvey, that's the fire. Come here, something I gotta say. Let I know. All right, let me take but over. This is also one of the old time trains that used to run in the village of the canal. As you can see, it, it's a massive, beautiful Ruta Canal in the parkway. I'm having a ball, ladies and gentlemen, in Panama, just looking at the historical sites and the historical place and how beautiful this country is. Look at this. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. I'm telling you, I just love it. Just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. As you can see, this is one of the double scraper skyscraper buses that takes tourists all over just to see these beautiful sights in Panama. Look at this beautiful bus. Wow. Fantastic. Panama. Look at that beautiful bus. Look at that beautiful bus. The canal of the legendary Constantine Bogle. Bogle, what are your feelings? In Panama, looking at a spot where some of your ancestors and my ancestors gave up their lives to build this great, massive monument. What are your thoughts going through your head right now? First, the climate is really nice out here, it's really cool and nice. But it's sort of unbelievable that we've seen an operation like this. <laughs> so, right now I'm just looking at the ship. I know it is um, going to be traveling through this channel. Unbelievable, you know, isn't it? Yeah, going through the center cut of the world to go around, and this is a massive ship. It is. Wow, look at it. I watch that. Yeah. This thing I like, it's stuck on it, you know. Keep it in line. Oh. Oh, okay. That's what it is.
Well, today is the 26th of March and today is my final day in the morning here at Panama and we are about to enter the Tacumen Airport. I just want to say, um, ladies and gentlemen, it could not have been possible us going around and showing you all these great things without this brother right here. Greetings. This brother here privilege. known as Carlos Jordan, singer, dancer, entrepreneur, <laughs> and everything that is good. Right? And this is entering the document airport. Okay. All right. I got it. You can lean back. Wow. How long was this airport um, made, Carlos? This is a new airport. This was made about 19... Six around the 70s, in the early 70s. In the early 70s. It was relocated from another part of um, Tokume. It was a lot smaller. So a lot you see, they have, they have enlarged from then until now. They're still expanding more. Okay, they're still expanding. Okay. Well, we're entering the departure area of the Tokume Airport. Carlos, you might love to read. Yeah. Um, we, we got some um, car problems. Yeah, just let them know that we appreciate everything. And um, an alien from us. Right? What airline is it? Copa. Copa, let me try and drop you somewhere where you need to get to the uh, yeah. desk. So, Carlos, when are you coming to Jamaica? Well, hopefully. Sometime this year? Yes, yes. God willing, you know? Okay. Wow, we want to thank you very much, man, for a wonderful it was, time. It was a privilege, trust me, man. It was a privilege to meet you guys and be here mm. for you, you know, because I know otherwise it's um, a strange thing, just like anywhere, most other third world countries, when people come as visitors, yeah. you think you come with a horn of plenty and everybody's trying to get into your pocket. Exactly. And, you know, we are not about that. Me and Rick are persons that, as you notice, know, we're just about, you know, each and each and out to another brother, you know. Yeah, so say something in Spanish to Jamaica there. Bueno, Jamaica, Dios primero estará allá antes que termine este año. Which means... Cuando llego, uh, God willing, I'll be there before the end of this year. <laughs> so descendiente de Jamaicano, but the Jamaican descendant my mother's side. Yeah. My father's side is Barbados, so one thing I gotta do before I die, I'm 70 years now, and I think it's I, I got to get there fast because I may die in the next couple of months, you know. <laughs> so I'll be there before the year is out. Okay, God. God bless all. Okay. Yes, I'm coming. Panama, oh Panama, God destined beauty land is standing strong, filled with the blood, sweat, and tears and lies. These great West Indians long live their life. Oh, Panama, oh, Panama, big stone salutes you, yes, from my heart. Panama, Panama, 
Panama, long live the memories of the lives of the people, the great West Indian people, Jamaicans, Barbadians, Trinidadians, Guyanese, people from all over went to this beautiful land and they have delivered to make the lives of us and others to come in the great future a better life. Thank you. Thank you, almighty God. I will come back to you and bring you love. I will remember you from up above. Your history will be revealed and you is real.